what's up youtube pj back with another video for y'all and why do i feel like y'all haven't seen bruce in a long time i'm about to take him out right now open this door he's just gonna run out like he always does i need to give him some fresh water and then give him some food because i actually didn't feed him last night bro where you going bro I know I told y'all that I did not feed Bruce last night, but it's not what y'all are probably thinking. I do feed him like every night, but it just so happens that yesterday morning I fed him. So now he's eating and I actually won't feed him again until probably tomorrow night so I can get back on the schedule. But Bruce, how you like your food? That man say get out my face, I'm trying to eat. He's a pretty healthy dog, even though like four or five months ago, he was diagnosed with heartworms. They said I caught it like very early, so they gave me some topical medicine that I'm about to put on him right now. But I'm not gonna show that on camera cause you literally all you have to do is just like spread his hair open and put it on his skin, like right behind his neck. But it's enough about Bruce. Today's video is supposed to be on Dawn. She's pretty dirty right now, but for the longest I've been talking about this intake of mine. And so now it's time to make some custom piping for it. But I have to go to O'Reilly's to get one more coupler and then I should be able to make it. street to O'Reilly's because like I said I need to get another coupler so I can try to make this thing right I'm gonna try to do it with two extra couplers which means I need to cut the piping right one thing that I did not tell y'all that I did yesterday actually was that okay so my header it's been having problems since I bought it because I bought it used off of a wreck Genesis and it's, it was cracked and I just did not really worry about the golly what y'all doing Golly! Look at this. Don't hit me, bus. But like I was saying, I bought my headers used off of a used wrecked Genesis. And it was cracked whenever I got it. So I pretty much knew that the day was gonna come whenever the whole pipe just cracked all the way around. And that's what happened. It had a bad exhaust leak. Terrible. Like it was sounding so bad. I heard this like ticking, fluttering sound a lot. And the, from the engine bay and I just knew what it was so I got that welded and put back on yesterday I did not record that for the vlog because whenever it comes to stuff like that I like to just get it done and not have to worry about recording it and whatnot but I do post that kind of stuff on my Instagram so if you aren't following me on Instagram why aren't you but I have about two minutes before I get to O'Reilly so I guess I'll just see y'all whenever I make it back home Just made it back home from getting something to eat and the sky is looking like it want to get dark on me but i need to go ahead and get this done before it gets dark i have rakeem here to help me with this so it should fly by so first thing i'm gonna do is cut off this little flange right here y'all will see it better whenever i take this bracket off but when i cut that off i'm gonna have to run the piping down through here which means the washer fluid reservoir needs to go i need to take the bumper off and cut this little piece out of this bumper part but i'm about to get started with doing that stuff and hopefully it won't take long like i said because we are running short on daylight but if it does then i guess it'll be a night vlog this is the intake piping that i'm gonna use i think i'm gonna use this uh 45 right here and this 30 i think i'm just gonna use those two to create it but I don't know yet because I've never done this and I have two four inch couplers so hopefully it won't take more than these two but I'm about to get started like I said 
and hopefully we can get this done quickly. Softly, cause killing me softly was a song. Oh, you don't know that song? He said perks. No, 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 he life. said no. I think he said perks got me antsy like an anvil, and then he said yeah, and then I knew he said, the yeah. Was, uh, yeah, killing yeah, me right. softly. Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was hard. My whole life is worth killing me softly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, that's a ratchet. That's a ratchet, huh? Yeah, but it's, right, so it's kind of ratchet. It's kind of like it's broke. stuck. Oh, okay. I was wondering why you were spinning it all the way around in the circle. <laughs> and plus, these things, they so loose. Like, I'm pushing them back up. So, your bumper held on with some loose bolts? They not bolts. What the Oh. It's Prada. Showing them again how to take off a bumper. No. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I use a little bit of force sometimes. Huh? That's how I broke the last fog lights. I would do it, but I can't do it with one hand. They fairly easy to unplug with one hand. Oh. <laughs> I ain't say you couldn't do it with one hand. I said. All right. We got this up. Hey, mm -hmm. You know how to take this door? This man. <laughs> well, oh, we're not supposed do, to be man. showing the engine bay, huh? What? I forgot, cause you got you just put spray on this thing. You about to go race some more Z's? What? No, I'm just playing. you remember they had they th they thought my green one was spraying. Yeah. Was well, just, look at the engine bay, man. Y'all want to look at the engine bay? You don't have no. Nitrous, so if he beat you, don't question it. And if I lose, he's not a fan. You, it's because I don't. The have thing though is, PJ not a fan of nitrous. I don't know Ain't. why. I don't know why. Ain't. It's easy. Man, pay a couple hundred dollars, beat somebody by seven cars. Power, <laughs> power adders should be boost adders. It is boost. Ain't I'm boosting your horsepower. Up. <laughs> I don't want no spray, man. This car about to get you taking. Uh, it's see? about to get wide bodied and bagged. Man, I ain't lying, he don't want no spray. Look, windshield wiper. The spray to the windshield. He taking Get it off. off. Getting out of there. Taking it off. What I need that for? Joke's on y'all. The nitrous kit is gonna be right. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be right, right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm about to hurt my hand, bro. Bro. Bro, how you get this off here, bro? No, no. Drop the answer in the comments for us. We don't know how to take it out. All right, now guys, it is 12 a.m. I'm just playing, it's not 12. No. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're doing this with the engine short ram intake like I did, or I am, and a bunch of y'all bought this, and Dustin, uh, he's pretty busy with making orders for these things, but I didn't want to wait on that. So I'm just gonna cut this little flange off. I believe this is like five inches. So cutting this flange off, and cutting it down to the three and a half inch pipe. And once I do that, I'm gonna wrap some more of this gold tape around it to try to get it to as close to four inches as possible. So I can run the four inch piping that I have on that. But like I said, I'm about to get started with this and cut this off and try to make this piping work. <laughs>
So it's officially the next morning and it's pretty bright out here. But let me show y'all what all I did last night. I finally got this three and a half inch piping to go on this four inch pipe. And as you can see, I had to like not double up, but like quadruple up or something on this tape. And then there's a little rubber piece that goes on the inside of this to make it seal nicely. That came with the coupler that I got from O'Reilly's, which shout out to them because they had two of these in stock. So I got the last two and there's a bend right here. I believe this is the 40 or 45 degree bend, something like that. And then I just used a smaller bend right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a little smaller bend right here. And this is a four inch intake. The one that came off of the engine intake was a five inch intake. And I have my bumper over here because I do need to cut out these bezels around the fog lights because I don't want those anymore, especially on this side since this is the side the intake is gonna be on. But I'm gonna end up doing that later because I do have to be in Baton Rouge like very soon so i need to go ahead and install this thing really so let me jack the car up and go ahead and put the bumper back on so i can head on down the road But I have the car out here now, it's all down, bumpers put back on. And as you can see, this side does not have a fog light. But I'm gonna have to fix this because the fog light actually doesn't fit with this big filter pointed the way that it is. So I might have to figure out a way to move this a little bit if I want a fog light over here. If not, <laughs> it looks more like a race car like this if you ask me. One fog light on one side. But I need to go ahead and take this thing for a drive right up the street and back, come back, wash my hands and stuff so I can go ahead to Baton Rouge. Like I said, I had to go. All right. I'm also gonna need to change my oil pretty soon. I might actually go buy some whenever I get back and go change it today. Video was a success.